So in the afternoon of sat on Sunday, um, in the great state of Georgia, a shelter in place and evacuations order due to biolab chemical plant fire, releasing massive amounts of toxic smoke. Now I, I am very frightened by this because, uh, we, we really don't know the long-term damages of said chemical explosion, especially what's going to be happening to the people of Georgia. And look, I don't know anyone in Georgia, but to anyone that's there, please be safe while uh, this uh, shelter in place and evacuation order is being done. Um, but one thing that we should all accept that's going to happen is our politicians not doing a damn thing to help us out. Uh, case in point, I, I, I hate bringing this up, but remember what happened to the people of East Palestine, Ohio, okay, with the train derailment and the chemical explosion that happened? And all those thousands of people exposed to those chemicals. Um, let's not forget what happened in Flint, Michigan. Lead in its drinking water. Uh, the burning of Lahaina. Those people were left on their own. Hell, there's lead in Chicago's drinking water. Okay, so major metropolitan city there. Um, I'm not expecting the government to go in and save the day. It would be interesting to see. But uh, just so you guys can see this with your own two eyes, this is what took place. So let's play this video again, folks. Um, I am hoping that the people of Georgia and those in the affected areas around this plant are going to be okay, but knowing chemicals and its destructive probabilities and what it can do, um, it's, this isn't good. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's getting worse. They're not putting that fire out. They're not even... And what was... I have another video here as well. It's bad. They're trying to route everyone off this one exit right here. Um, oh, gosh. Did you just see that? Now, what's exactly happening? So, uh, in Georgia, more than 90,000 residents in the county east of Atlanta were told to keep sheltering in place Monday, and businesses were told to stay closed a day after a chemical plant fire sent a massive plume of dark smoke high into the sky that could be seen for miles. Air quality surveys done by the Environmental Protection Agency and the State uh, Environmental Protection Division revealed the harmful irritant chlorine uh, detected in the air from the fire at the Biolab in Con Conyers, Georgia, the Rockdale County government said in the statement Monday or early Monday. So uh, <clears throat> uh, that 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 kind of chlorine, you know, you, you don't you, that stuff you don't want near any part of your body, and you don't want to be breathing that in, especially if it's on fire. So for everyone sheltering in place, the best practice is to turn off the air conditioning and uh, keep windows and doors shut. Sounds great, but everything can seep in. The fire was brought under control around 4 p.m. Sunday, officials said. Interstate 20, which was shut down in both directions in the area Sunday, was reopened Monday morning, officials said. Some other roads in the county and county government uh, and co county government officials were closed. People in the northern part of Rockdale County, north of the Interstate 20, were ordered to evacuate on Sunday, and others were told to shelter in place. Sheriff's Office spokesperson Christina Nesbitt did not know the number of people evacuated, although it covered a large portion of the community of Conyers uh, media reports that the number was 17,000. The fire ignited when a sprinkler had malfunctioned around 5 a.m. There's a thing called doing function check, people. Uh, 5 a.m. Sunday at the bio plant in Conyers, Rockdale County. Uh, co uh, county's, uh, sorry, 
Conyers, Rockdale County Fire Chief Marin McDaniel told reporters a malfunction caused water to mix with a water reactive chemical, producing a plume of chemicals. What could go wrong? McDaniel, uh, McDaniel said that there were employees inside the plant, but no injuries have been reported. Biolabs website says it was the it was it it is the swimming pool and spa water care division of Lawrenceville, Georgia based KIK Consumer Products. The company also said that no injuries were reported. Our top priority is ensuring the community's safety and our teams are working around the clock to respond to the ongoing situation at our uh, facility in Conyers, Georgia. A spokesperson said in a statement Monday, we continue to work uh, collaboratively with first responders and local authorities to have deployed specialized teams from out of state to the site to bolster and support their efforts. We are all focused on remediating the situation as rapidly as possible. A small fire on the plant's roof was initially contained, but reignited Sunday afternoon, authorities said. <coughs> Excuse me. So with situations like this, I'm going to be the mean person and say, how many times have they cut corners? How many times? What, what's their safety record look like? I mean, these are things that are going to be need to be asked. Just like with our train derailments, where there is a lack of accountability in our infrastructure. Case in point, our trains are derailing, our planes are falling apart, looking at you, Boeing, and our bridges are collapsing, and our dams are breaking. Thanks to the hurricanes, it's revealing just how cheaply built everything is. And in this day and age where everybody wants to make a buck by cutting so many corners that they'll even try and find corners in a circle, there's always a consequence. And the action is, of course, when there's a lack of safety, when there's a lack of accountability or regulation, you're going to have what we like to call an oopsie. But this oopsie could have long-term consequences. We don't really know just fully the on damage of what these chemicals can do to the environment, how many people were exposed, if there are long-term effects, and what this means for the entire areas that were affected by this explosion. But knowing all too well just how people are treated in this country, and we've covered this, especially with stories like Lahaina, East Palestine, Ohio, Flint, Michigan, and everywhere else in between, no matter what state you live in, it always seems to be the same story. Oh, yeah, well, we, we really can't do too much. One has to wonder just how much influence that said corporation has um, with its local or federal politicians. These are things that need to be looked into. Now, accountability. Will anybody be held accountable? Go ahead and ask Boeing if it's ever going to be held accountable for its epic failures. And no, right now, Boeing's kind of getting a slap on the wrist, okay? Boeing is smart enough to buy a politician. All these corporations and industries are. When we look at regulation in this country, it is very pathetic. Now, for those of you who have been watching Hard Lens Media from the beginning, we actually did not one but two documentaries in uh, Indiana in regards towards these industrial facilities that are dealing with dangerous chemicals and other hazardous materials. And uh, the most infamous part of those two documentaries is dilution is the solution where you have in one hand toxic waste. In the other hand, you got water. You uh, mix it together and foosh, put it out into the water. Dilution is a solution. That's that's not how things work. There needs to be a, more accountability. This is the only planet we have. There is no planet B or C or D. We only have this planet called Earth. And now we need to start looking into the regulations of these companies and just really what their safety procedures are. This was a failure that didn't need to happen. This is what happens when you don't hire people or either that maybe train people properly in regards to having a backup plan for a backup plan for a backup plan. I mean, that would be great to have. It should be there and available to all. But I do give my condolences to the people in Georgia. And, you know... I am preparing myself for this because knowing social media and the cesspool that it is, there's going to be that one dumb liberal or influential liberal that's going to be like, oh, well, Georgia's a red state, so blah, 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 blah. I don't know anyone in Georgia, but I don't want anyone to be affected by that. And I don't give a damn how they voted. Just like for the people in Lahaina, just like in the people of East Palestine, Ohio, or Flint, Michigan. I don't want anyone to be affected by these chemicals. And I don't want anyone to suffer. But let's have democracy in the chat. Do you think our politicians are going to come to the rescue? A type one for yes, kid, they are. This is a serious situation. Why do you always do this? 
You're so pessimistic, and yet you say you're idealist. You're an awful man. Type 2, man, they ain't going to help those people. They might give them some chump change, and that's about it. That's about it, and I'm being generous. I wonder how many twos will be in the chat. I wonder, I wonder, do you ever wonder?